Before aligning an imported model, it is a good idea to raise the density threshold of the CT scan to make the teeth clearly identifiable. Via the surfaces panel, the relevant area can be isolated by choosing isolate and then clicking on the relevant area of the CT scan. All other parts of the CT scan will disappear. It is also important to make sure that you're in the surfaces volume rendering mode. When a model is imported, the model manipulation panel will automatically open. It is also accessible via the panel's drop down as we just did now. The correct model should be visible in the model drop down list. The draw type should be selected and the points functionality should be chosen. Pressing the align button will open a window that shows us simultaneously the model and the CT scan of the patient. Holding down the shift key and left clicking with your left mouse button will place a dot. Dots should be placed in clearly identifiable locations that are visible in both the scan of the CT and the optical scan of the patient. The points should be distributed throughout the scanned mesial distal buccal lingual. At least five points should be placed, but the more points placed, the better and the more accurate the merge will be. Once all the points have been placed, pressing the OK button will complete the merge process. The merge can be checked by pressing Model Outline and viewing in the cross sections view that the outline of the imported model goes tightly around areas where there are teeth. It can also be checked by moving the axial view close to the occlusion and confirming that the model outline is wrapped tightly around the areas where there are teeth. The model position can also be updated manually by clicking on Adjust Model Position Manually. The model can be moved by using the large arrows or rotated using the widget which now appears around the model. The model placement can also be controlled using the arrows on the keyboard by clicking on the blue circle representing the axle of rotation. The arrows on the keyboard will now allow fine refinement of the model positioning. The axle of rotation can also be modified by grabbing on the small arrows and repositioning the axle of rotation. Now when the model is rotated, it will be rotated around the new axle position and not the center of the model.